Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Arcanize here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Godzilla, King of the Monsters, that just recently released in theaters. So, let's get into this. So Godzilla, King of the Monsters, the third movie in the MonsterVerse following Godzilla 2014 and Kong Skull Island. Now this film has been getting kind of bashed by critics. I believe it has like a 40% on Rotten Tomatoes. And I definitely do not think it deserves that. Godzilla, King of Monsters, does everything it meant to do perfectly. As a Godzilla movie, this is a great film, and if you go into the theaters, you know, just waiting to watch a Godzilla movie and not an in-depth, you know, really crazy story type of movie, you will enjoy this film. I enjoyed this film a lot. Let's start off with the humongous positives. The action and special effects, the visuals, they are all incredible. There are shots in this film that just made me geek out. I was like, oh my gosh, that is so epic. And I have to give props to the people who worked on the visuals and everything. This film is filled to the brim with kaiju action, and it's great. You have Godzilla, Mothra, Rodan, and Ghidorah all in the same movie. They're like four of the most famous kaiju out there, and they're duking it out, and I loved every second of it. I think the battles were handled so so well, and I was just so engaged in them. They were definitely the most interesting part of the movie for me. This movie also has many references to not only movies in the MonsterVerse, but many of the 35 plus Godzilla films that came before it, which I really enjoyed. Usually, I'm just there to see a bunch of monsters punching each other, but I did catch a bunch of the references, and I really appreciated them. Ghidorah was a pretty awesome villain, and I think the way Godzilla defeats Ghidorah is also pretty awesome, but it does make him kind of OP to the point where I'm not really sure how Kong is gonna really stand a chance unless he gets super jacked up for Godzilla vs. Kong. One thing I would have liked to see is a bit more Mothra in here. I feel like she was just kind of on the sidelines, but when she was doing stuff, she was pretty cool. So I wish we got a little bit more of her. I feel like we really got some great stuff on all of the other Titans, but Mothra was just kind of there in the background. Now, getting a little bit more into spoiler territory. If you haven't seen the movie yet, you probably want to click away now. The human story and everything, like with all of the actual people, it's not that great. I wasn't totally into the orca and everything like that, but I do think they did a good job of explaining what was going on in the film and what was going on with the kaiju. I really liked that. And overall, I just think this movie is the perfect summer action blockbuster. You can enjoy it if you go in there not expecting some groundbreaking story because you won't get it. The story is not great. But you will get some incredible action, mind-blowing special effects, visuals, and everything. 
And I think you really will enjoy this film. I will give it a B+. Plus. Sure, there were some things that I didn't love, like, you know, the oxygen destroyer. It was just basically a giant bomb. And there was a bunch of predictable stuff and not that high of stakes in the grand scheme of things. But overall... I really enjoyed this movie. Let me know your thoughts on Godzilla, King of the Monsters, down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.